guys. Today I'm going to demonstrate the first test of the XJ-1 Gauss Rifle prototype. This particular rifle takes coil comprised of magnetic wire, which is enameling, a 450 volt capacitor, 2200 microfarad, a 12 volt input, 350 volt output, DC to DC booster with cooling sink and fan, a 12 volt nickel metal hydride 2500 mAh battery, a 9 volt, um, and that is simply to power the voltage meter and the relay. That will allow a safe uh, pass of voltage through both circuits. Now, today I'm going to demonstrate the firing sequence using a ferromagnetic magnetic screw um, as seen here. I'm going to load it into the chamber which sits before the coil and then when I initiate the charging this indicator will show me how many volts are going to the capacitor. This is important because the capacitor cannot be overloaded. They may explode. Um, the gun is rubberized for safety as well as resistance to corrosion and it weighs only three pounds. I, want, I built this gun to look as real as possible for future use um, and that's to be determined. Anyway, so when I start the charging, it's going to create a light or um, very minor frequency uh, as the capacitor takes in that energy. This frequency might be compared to when you're charging a disposable camera. You charge the flash, you hear that whining. What that is, it's the capacitor taking that uh, electricity and storing it so that you can uh, dump it into that flash. Anyway, a um, couple things can go wrong today. Uh, it may not fire. Uh, the capacitor might explode. Let's hope that doesn't happen. The uh, coil may be wound too many times so it doesn't move or the object gets stuck in the top um, or yeah I think uh, we've basically touched on the main points let's hope it doesn't blow up anyway um, I'm wearing ballistic glasses uh, I really should be wearing gloves but I trust my build and uh, my knowledge in the manner so I'm going to load the object now. Okay, now I'm going to start the charging. Three, two, one. Well, the object fired, but not with high enough velocity, at least for what I would prefer. Test number two, close up. <laughs> 